Hello everyone, welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to learn a very important topic of organic chemistry that is isomerism. So the isomers are basically of two different types that is constitutional isomers and stereoisomers. What do you mean by constitutional isomers is that uh, whenever a two molecules having same molecular formula but they have different constitution or different bond connectivity then they are called as constitutional isomers. Stereoisomers are those isomers which are actually the same but they have different arrangement in three dimensional space. So they are again of two types that is configurations and conformations. Configurations are again of two types that is geometric isomers and optical isomers. We will see in detail about this in the further slides. And again optical isomers are of two types that is enantiomers and diastereomers. So now let us understand in much detail what all these terms mean. So for any two molecules to be called as isomers, the very first criteria is that the compound should have same molecular formula. Then we have to move further to see the connectivity of the bonds with the different groups. If in a carbon chain or in any molecule, if the bond connectivity and the atoms at that particular location are same, then they are stereoisomers. If the bond connectivity is different, then they are called as constitutional isomers. Then again, in stereoisomers, that is isomers that have same connectivity but differ in the arrangement of their atoms in space. They are again of two types, enantiomers and diastereomers. So what are enantiomers? They are non-superimposable mirror images of each other and diastereomers are non-mirror images of each other. Now let us understand each of these terms in much more detail. So these are some of the examples of constitutional isomers. The first exam here is, example here is butane. Here you can see butane and 2-methylpropane. Number of carbon atom is same, number of hydrogen is also same in this molecules. So, but the bond connectivity is different. So these are called as structural isomers. As you can see, the carbon chain arrangement is different. In the second example, that is 1-chloropropane and 2-chloropropane, you can see that this position of this chloro group here, it is first position on this three-membered carbon chain. Here it is second position. So this is called as positional isomer where this position of a functional group is changed. Here it is first position, here it is second. The third, that is 1-butanol and diethyl ether, you can see in these two molecules, again the molecular formula is same, but the functional group itself is different. Here it is alcoholic group and here it is ether group. So hence these group are called as functional isomers. So accordingly we will learn these constitutional isomers in much more detail. So what are constitutional isomers? The way the atoms are connected differs. Here again in this another example you can see that in this carbon chain here the cyano group is attached in the second position or close to or the carbon next to this alkyl or aryl group and here the cyano group is at, at the carbon which is connected to the hydroxyl group. So the bond connectivity of the atoms is different, hence they are called as constitutional isomers. This is very important, another important topic that is difference between configuration and conformation. So what is configuration? Configuration is a relative position of the atoms in a molecule that can be changed exclusively by cleaving and forming new chemical bonds. We had already learned a lot about R configuration and S configuration. So what, how can you convert R configuration molecule, the same molecule, into S configuration? So for converting R configuration molecule into S configuration molecule, you have to cleave or break the bond in R configuration, then only you can form S configuration molecule. So to 
from one configuration to another you have to necessarily break the bonds and then only you can get the next configuration so what are conformation we had seen a little bit of conformation in uh, molecules like biphenyls where the two phenyl rings were attached by a carbon carbon single bond and i had told you that there is free rotation of groups in three dimensional space so conformation is a set of possible shapes of a molecule uh, by means of rotation about single bonds only the example of conformation we will see in the later videos that are aliphatic alkanes that is normal carbon chain alkanes for example ethane butane and cycloalkanes so again what are stereoisomers they have same connectivity but they are arranged differently in the 3d space we had already seen stereoisomers are of two types that is geometrical isomer and optical isomer example of geometrical isomers are ez isomers or cis trans isomers which we will be seeing later and also enantiomers or diastereomers which are known as optical isomers so ez isomers we will learn in the further video in much detail enantiomers and diastereomers so what are enantiomers organic molecules that are non superimposable mirror images of each other are called enantiomers then what is diastereomers all other stereoisomer other than the enantiomers are called as diastereomers example of diastereomers are cis trans and ez so let us now understand what do we mean by superimposable and non superimposable here you can see this bottle if we see the mirror image of this bottle it would look something like this now if i want to put this bottle on the right and put it over this bottle it would be looking like this that is the same one so this is known as superposition or superimposition so whenever a object or a molecule is superimposed on each other or is superimposable then that particular molecule will be a chiral here is the example of enantiomers here you can see this molecule of lactic acid when you see the mirror image of this molecule on this side you can see if i try to put this lactic acid molecule on the right that is levo rotatory we will learn what does these signs mean plus minus if i try to superimpose this molecule on this one it is not possible so these are mirror images as well as non superimposable so hence they are called as enantiomers again another example of enantiomer again the same molecule you can see these mirror images are non superimposable now let us understand if uh, we had already studied uh, in fischer projection formula where there are two chiral centers it can have r r r s s r or s s configuration so always remember that in a uh, in one molecule when there are two stereo centers if both the absolute configuration is changed or all the chiral center absolute configuration is changed in the next molecule like for example rr is changed to ss then these set of molecules are called as enantiomers or for that matter if it is 2r3s as we had seen in butane if we change r to s and the s to r means both the absolute configurations are changed then again these are called as enantiomers so all the absolute configuration of one molecule changed to the other in any molecule then they they are called as enantiomers and if any one of this absolute configuration is changed keeping one same like for example rr is changed to keeping one r same and changing only the second configuration or it, for that matter r ss changing to sr so rr ss R R R S are diastereomers, and here this S S and S R are diastereomers. Let us understand in much detail with this example, where there are three chiral carbons, and the absolute configuration of all the three carbon is R. So if you change all the three, it is enantiomers. If you keep all the same, then these both are called as identical. 
and if you change any one of these as you can see in this uh, molecule then they are called as diastereomers so at least one same and at least one different so this will all will be called as diastereomers so these are the reference books that I used that is organic chemistry second edition by Clayden book by John McMurray and book by Solomons thank you so much